Hey everyone, so I attempted to make a mansion. Um, I put this in the spot in Brindleton Bay. Um, I had to evict and bulldoze one of the houses out so I could put it on this lot of land because I really liked where it was um, over the water. And then with like this little entryway thing, it kind of added to the whole mansion theme that I wanted to do. So... This is my first attempt in making anything like this. Um, it took a long time, uh, but it was worth it. I moved some people in and started playing with them, and um, I really enjoy everything about it. Okay, so let's start off with the first floor. So when you first walked in, I had like a coat rack, um, these shoes, the umbrella, then the living room. I wanted everything to be like really fancy. Like they, both of their aspirations were to be wealthy. Um, so I wanted them to be kind of like rich and everything to look rich. So there's that. And then I have the bathroom, one of the bathrooms over here. The bathrooms are one of the best ones I like to build because I just like super cute bathrooms. And then I added a bar. And then a nice big kitchen. With all the necessities. I made them tea drinkers. <laughs> um again all this nice artwork on the walls way more extra space than anybody ever needs but that's just what a mansion is right and then i made like a separate little dining room i love the half walls so i added one in and uh, made this a little dining room i thought it was cute and these big windows on the bottom floor to add extra light in one behind there too and then when you go to the back it's like a breezeway sort of thing I put a glass roof on top and all windows and not an enclosed door Of course, I had to add the sliding door from the new update that we got some free stuff. So then upstairs, put um, a lot of bookshelves. I wanted it to seem like, you know, they were really smart intellectuals with a lot of money, whoever lived here. Um, grandfather clock. Did another fireplace with some more bookshelves. And then this is the master bedroom. She was just asleep and now she's up. Um again with the books, the candles. All the extra windows with lighting. Most expensive bed. Everything expensive. And then, they don't have kids yet, but I made this before I made the family. Um, so I just made like a nice child's room just in case and uploaded it to the gallery because maybe your sims might have children and they can use this room. And I made it kid like but I also made it fancy by buying you know the most expensive dollhouse that they had or you know and then both of their doors come out to this wrap around porch yeah 
And then of course I have another bathroom. Cute, simple, but still looks like they have money, especially I like this tub. And then I um, added like that secret, I've always wanted to use a secret doorway with the bookshelf so it looked like, um, you know, there's not really a door there. I thought it'd be cool for like an office. So I um, made a little secret office, another fireplace. Then outside, again, I made this um, so it involved kids. Um, so I have a little like playground area over there. And then I made like an above ground pool, which I thought was cool. Um, I'll make a video of how I did it. Um, but basically, I just created a room outside with the walls, and it went up with the foundation like it did with the house, and then I just took away the walls, put a pool in, put a fence in, made it look nice. The dog likes it. Yeah, and that is my attempt at making a mansion. Um... huge that's for sure um i think it has some nice qualities to it and i uploaded it to my gallery um astro jacks 44 if you would like to play with the house um yeah thanks for watching <laughs>